So the uh, next printer we're going to take a look at is the MK3S with the add-on for the multi-material unit, which you can see sitting up at the top. So that's, that's the original MK3 sitting next to a bit of an updated MK3S um, with the multi-material unit. Um, this is just a little bit complex to load, so it'll take a little bit more time to kind of go over what's, what's happening here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is turn the printer on. So once again, that switch is all the way in the back here. And get a good focus on it. And you can see me turning that on. So we've essentially got two devices that are booting up. So I've got the MMU unit that's booting, and we've also got the um, actual printer itself. Um, so the first thing we need to do is load our filament into one of these tubes that's sticking out the front here. And then that's going to lead us into another, any one of those tubes that correspond with it. So if I picked this top one here, I'd be going into this top one here. If I picked this bottom tube here, I'd be going into this bottom tube here. So. This is um, part of the MMU called a buffer, and this just helps the when it's changing filaments. Um, it needs this uh, as a um, place where the filament doesn't get tangled as it's getting, you know, uh, unloaded and loaded. So it's a bit of a pain to load as a single material, but um, you know, it's it's just part of having this. Kind of expanded unit. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is uh, then kind of unfurl our material here. If I can find the end. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to need two hands to do this. So I'm going to put this on a tripod and hopefully I'm going to be able to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to be going into this top tube here and then into this tube here. So we'll go into that, thread your filament in there, and then I like to kind of get a good amount in the buffer itself so I can kind of grab onto this end. So you kind of keep feeding it, and then you've got this kind of coming out the other side here. You've got to push that over and thread it through the top tube. And then it's just a process of pushing the filament up through towards the multi-material unit itself. So once you've got the material pushed up into the unit, you'll most likely feel it stop against something. That's perfect. That's where you need to be. So the next step is going to be loading the material into the unit itself. So from our menu system, we're going to hit that button. Make sure we're focused. And we're going to go to load filament. So once I click this, you'll notice that I've got 
a lot of options. Uh, there's load all and then load filament one through five. So I know I'm in filament number two because the tube I loaded into is actually in the second spot. So that would be one, two, three. I only have it set up for three materials at the moment. So we can scroll down, make sure we've got filament two selected. Hit the button. And then it's going to load filament two after the MMU goes through its calibration. So it's currently um, zeroing itself. And then moving into position. So you can see we've got kind of a blinking light there. Sometimes you have to kind of help it along, but I can feel it, feel it grabbing that filament. Okay. Great, so we've got a solid green light on the second position, so we know that filament is loaded correctly. Let's go back to the main menu. And if I want to print from the SD, so I select that just like normal, and say I select my object, my file that I want to print, now it's asking me what filament I'd like to print with. Since we're in single mode, I could have loaded any one of those five. But we know we're in filament two. So I just highlight that, select it, and then we're heating up like normal, and it should print like normal. So you can kind of see it's loading the filament in to the extruder and we're heating up to temperature. So once our temperatures are up to the PLA set points, our printer is going to come down and go through the same motions as usual, leveling the bed, priming the nozzle, and then printing your object. One of the big differences of the MMU is the purge line at the start of your print. Um, it extends most all the way across the bed. And that's typically to purge the nozzle while changing materials um, first off on a new print. So you can see we've gone from a gray to a white. And then we're off and printing. So you would uh, essentially wait until your print's done, of course, and then take your object off and unload filament. So I'm going to make a separate video on unloading filament.